What's up? I'm Patrick. And I'm Denisha. And in this video, we're going to talk to Denisha about how she became the Power BI queen. Stay tuned. Okay. All right. So I'm here with Denisha, the Power BI queen, little royalty. You guys may know her from Twitter, right? May yes, know her from Twitter. I'm there. That's where I met her at on Twitter. All right. And today we're just going to talk to her about some Power BI. Is okay. that okay? That works for me. All right. So let's start off with the first question. Okay. So how did you get started in Power BI? Well, um, as I was in college, I had an internship my junior year. It was early in June 2015. Power BI was in beta, so it wasn't generally available yet. And the intern had me moving SSRS reports to Power BI. SSRS? SS, I had no clue oh. about SSRS Some or Power BI. Some paginated reports. <laughs> now I know all about it. <laughs> So there were no resources online, so I had to uh, migrate those reports over by myself. And so I did research on SSRS, and I used the Power Query in Excel to learn Power BI. And from there, I started creating my own Power BI reports after I finished the internship, and then I became the queen. The so, queen. Yes. So how? So when you when you decided on this queen, what mm -hmm. made you decide on the? To become the Power BI, would you, were you like, were somebody? Did they vote you the queen, or did you just self-elect yourself as the queen? I, uh, I would say both because. <laughs> <laughs> so I would start off with self-electing, and then I kind of became really known in the community, the Power BI community, okay. as someone who knows a lot about Power BI. Oh, shoot, maybe before I the be royalty or something like that. <laughs> maybe. <on> man, King. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. So. What resources? So you you did your own thing, you did some research and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But if for someone today, why? What resources would you recommend for people that's getting started with Power BI? Definitely got a cute. <laughs> <laughs> also, the Power BI community is amazing. Yeah. So, and that's really good. If you have questions, you can post them, and people the turnaround on there is great. Yeah. Um, so that's a good resource. Microsoft Documents. And my blog. Really good. We'll we'll post it. You'll see it. There, you should see the link on the screen right now, right there, right? Go ahead. What's what's the blog? Denisha M dot com. All right, awesome. Yes. I know you you've been speaking this uh recently where mm -hmm. you did a mm -hmm. you, you do a lot of speaking and stuff. Lots. So for someone that's just getting started in speaking, what mm -hmm. advice would you give them, right? If mm -hmm. they wanted to like become a great speaker, like let's say me, mm -hmm. um, what advice would you give them to get started in this speaking thing? Well, probably practice, definitely. No, that's uh, not good advice. Yes, practice no, is I'm great advice. <laughs> <laughs> get out and do events with audiences that you know. So get out and into your own community and speak. My first speaking event was at Memphis, where I'm from. I just had a small crowd, speak with Saturday. And then from there, I just started doing things I was uncomfortable with. And before I knew it, I was out and speaking places everywhere. So would you say that when you put together a presentation, when you're working on the presentation, is it, do you do you really learn from building that presentation? Is it a good way to build your knowledge based on whatever you're trying to present? Definitely, because yeah. you're learning new things. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. absolutely. And you like giving back to the community. Why, yeah. why, why do you give back to the community? Why do you go and speak at SQL Saturdays and users groups? And why are you sitting here with me today? Because I'm sure you got other stuff you could be doing right <laughs> no, now. No, that's curious. really nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you're you. Um, well, I think it's, <laughs> I think it's because I, I don't know. I just like the community. I like helping people learn. Uh, yeah. I like people listening to me speak. I like to be, honestly, I like to be the center of attention. No, I, I, <laughs> yeah. I know someone that does. Yes. People can't see him. So, but. right. So, yeah. So, it helps. It helps to um, be in that kind of position where yep. I can teach people and they're learning a new tool. So talk to me about Power BI administration. I know you and I talked about the capacity app mm -hmm. and how you did your own thing. Tell yeah. me, how did you get into it? What do you think? Mm -hmm. How can it be improved? Whatever, you know, just give me, give me your okay, take on Power so BI. So we can go on and on about yeah, Power yeah, BI yeah, sure, administration. Sure, sure, sure. But to keep it short, mm -hmm. um, so how I got into it. So Power BI, I started off as a developer, developing reports for marketing analysis. And then from there, I went into the um, monitoring premium environment. Yeah. So being a pro user and seeing how the premium environment was set up, there was no one really monitoring it or seeing yeah. the resources that were being consumed. So I took it upon myself to say, let me look at the capacity that's going on. Yeah. And the customer at that time needed those resources to be monitored because they started to spend more money on premium capacity. So I took it upon myself to look into their capacity and see how things are being used. 
And because there was really no one else who was monitoring it, I became that sole person to be the administrator. The reason I love it so much is because I'm able to save customers money and I'm also able to help pro users optimize their reports. So the last thing, right? The okay. last thing I want to ask you mm -hmm. is if you had your own little magic wand or your own little pixie dust, yep. right? what would you change about Power BI? Ooh. What would you add to it or how would you make it better? I recently got this question and it was really hard to answer because I love Power BI. So yeah. to find something that I don't like about it is difficult. And my answer to their question was the monthly having to tell my customers that, oh, this updates monthly, so go out and learn these things. So that, that for me is tough because I work with so many Power BI users. Yeah. And so to be able to, to have to go out and teach people, I have to find a way to help incorporate the new features in my customers oh. easily every month. But I love the monthly features. Like that's my, cool. my favorite. It's like a good and a bad because yeah. it happens every month, but you have to actually teach people that it's these. double -edged. Yeah, double so that's probably the only thing for me. Um, usually when I first started Power BI, there were so many things that I disliked about it, yeah. but because of the updates, <laughs> those things got fixed and having a, a direct connection to guys like you and Will Thompson and people on the development team, it allows me to be more open about things that I don't like and figure out ways to work around it or get them fixed quicker. All right, so if you wanna learn more about Denisha and all the great stuff that she's doing, check out our blog, it'll be posted in the comments below. If you wanna continue the conversation, if you have more questions for uh, Denisha, be sure to post them in the comments below. If this is your first time visiting the Guy in the Cube channel, hit that subscribe button. If you mm -hmm. like my video, give me a big thumbs up. As always, from Adam and myself and- Denisha. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Yo! Yo! Is this oh, together?